Welcome to part 11 of South Park the Fractured Butthole. In this episode, we are going to go to the main storyline and also meet the PC principal. Or at least do one mission in the main storyline, just so we can get an ability. But also, we're going to be picking up some things that are lying around that we need to deal with That's right then right. and there. Away. Walk away, also, also, we are going to go to the police station for our next assignment, and probably final. First, we just okay, need to move this uh, circuit breaker or air conditioner. I'm not sure what that is. Whatever the case, diabetic rage is... Okay, uh, diabetic, not diabetic. What, what the hell am I saying? Diabetic rage is needed in order for us to get closer to where we need to be. And I think I'm supposed to use the snap pops before climbing on a seesaw. Whatever the case. We'll just get whatever's in here. Use glitch. And in that treasure chest up top is the supernova, the supernova costume. What is with me a butchering English language? I'm sorry. But yeah, the supernova costume is something that... We happen to, well, need for the enthusiast achieve. Oh, yeah, the enthusiast goal. That's what it is. So, only thing we need left to do is to go into our oh, room, because out. again, we have costume enthusiast goals in order for us so to achieve to get like I'll seventy-five experience or hundred experience. It all depends on what level of costume experience you're in. But for now, let's see what all we've got. Ooh, a target costume. Well, whatever the case. Let's just get out of here because these two aren't even talking. One's smoking weed, the other one's drinking Chardonnay. Our parents is an emotional wreck. And it'll only get worse as time goes on. And speaking of an emotional wreck, or at least New Kid was after coming out of here, we're gonna be going to the church to get a selfie with Priest Maxi. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh himself. <sighs> Him and his freaking spider queen. Whatever the case, I think the most appropriate face is hold on. This one. Father Maxi and his Spider Colt is just outright, outright insane. Well, now that we're done with the insanity of Father Maxi, let's go on ahead and go to the police station. Because we need to get our next assignment. Oh, and by the way, those cops, we'll worry about those guys later. Because they're also another achievement towards, um... Who are you supposed to be? Getting some more experience points. Go on through. You have to wait for the guy to open the door. Now then, let's talk to Sergeant Yates. Or should I say, Yolanda. Hey, little crime stopper, back for more? I got something you might be interested in. Turns out that scum you fucked up is just the low guy on the totem pole. We now believe the real kingpin is over here. On your phone. That I'm holding right now. Thanks for letting me hold your phone to show you this. He's hiding out in some big luxury mansion bought with blood money, scumbag. This is a whole nother level, little crime fighter. His house is like a fortress. Every window and door is wired to a state-of-the-art, high-tech security system. You'll need this. This mobile hacking device will help you bypass the security system. Good hunting, hero. The fact that Sergeant Yates even remotely said that Token's dad bought his house well, with drug money is just beyond absurd. Even more absurd is the fact that he's targeting Token's dad. But I forgot this Yaoi painting in the last part. I might as well take it with me. But the thing about um, Sergeant Yates He's having you randomly capture people. 
I mean, it's just absurd that he's doing this. Oh, by the way, we'll see how things go. I should take a selfie with Cartman's mom because, well, superhero. I forgot to do this. special farting friend. But whatever the case, folks, that's just more followers for me. Too bad these followers don't give you perks like in South Park to Stick of Truth. And again, if you had perks, well, the game would be broken. Wonderful. So I guess artifacts is making the game more balanced. Alright. We've got some work to do, so before we do anything else, we're gonna go over ahead and head over to Stan's house. Or was it to... Actually, no. I got a better idea. Before we do that, we're gonna go over to, um... I'm the best, Crunchies. Best but the only way to get there is through the, um... She top of town, uh, fast travel. I think that's how I... Uh, mentioned... Oh, God, I can't even pronounce that name right. Alright. Now we'll just go the opposite direction and head into Crunchies. Because we're about to meet up with the PC principal. And, oh yeah, by the way, I paused it so that, well, the Xbox One's DVR doesn't run out in the middle of the fight. Which it will for the boss battle with, uni with alternate universe human kite. And now you got a problem with me! I'm not just gonna sit here and do nothing while you insult this man's ethnicity. I wasn't insulting him. Excuse me, did you or did you not say that this man seemed tired? Yes, he's my friend. I said, Paolo, you look tired. Microaggressions! Ah, ah, ah. Persons of Hispanic backgrounds have been stereotyped as being sleepy and saying they look tired is a microaggression that will not stand. But I am tired. Oh, oh, ah. You, you're the new kid, right? I'm the principal of your school. My name is PC Principal. I was told you wanted to talk to me about some race issues. Okay, come at me. Meet the cause of a lot of weird shit that happened in season 20. Or at least one of them. PC Principal. Now this guy was hinted at to be like as powerful of a super boss as Al Gore. Well, somebody else took that place, but he teaches you about microaggressions. Microaggressions is a, um, thing where somebody says something that's out of place that will trigger somebody, like what he's about to say right now, you will, in the middle of battle, beat the crap, or at least punch the crap, out of somebody who said that. My friend Brian looks like a chick. Microaggressions will actually hurt depending on how much the meter is. Not bad, kid. This is technically a boss battle, so I might as well just talk over it to explain how this works. This will only show up in random bosses, however, it will never show up in fights against females. I don't... Okay, I do know why. I, I think I do know why, and I'm not going to harp any further on that, but it will show up in some other boss fights. Mr. And certain random encounters. And the moment it does, you only have a limited amount of time before you actually run out of the microaggression meter. But the more you, but the quicker you press the microaggression button, the more powerful it is. You can one hit KO certain enemies with that. Bear that in mind. Oh, and you need 10 of them in order for you to actually get your race. We'll be getting that a little later. Yeah, I had to stop the recording a little bit just to make sure the fan wasn't overheating in my computer. Anyway, we can now take selfies with, well, at least take a selfie with Wendy's dad, who just so happens to be a Crunchies. Yeah, Wendy's dad frequents this place and he drinks beer and sometimes coffee. Hello, little miss. Thing is, he Please. don't know that cheese is being spread by the police. You sure are the weirdest superhero I've seen all day. Okay, I'll follow you. 
Now then, we can also actually take a picture with the bartender. And I think that's all of the people you can take a picture of because the PC principal will not take a selfie until you actually complete the uh, five microaggression tasks, which two of them are already given to you by the PC principal. And by the way, this is another exit and you could actually search a wallet. Later on, there'll be two other people here that you could talk to. Or if you haven't gotten selfies with them before, you'll end up getting an, you'll end up getting another what selfie with them later. But whatever the case, we're done here for now. At least for that particular thing, and I think I've already done this. So I guess I should explain what happened. Uh, brownout. It did not save. It did not, um, I did not save my data. It did not auto save my data. So with that said, I had to redo a lot of stuff all over again. So yeah, that kind of pissed me off. Oh, kind of a douche move, buddy. Uh, I know, I know you guys are probably upset with me doing this, but hey, I had to at least get... I think I forgot to cut that out. But at the same time, I had to at least uh, show off the PC principle. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Muck shot for uh, Mr. Williams? Or... Yeah, right here. Oh, Mr. Adams, sorry. Why did I call him Mr. Williams? Also, Jimbo's wallet's in this um, strip club. Make sure you get that from out of the Peppermint Hippo. So, we could take a picture with Blaze. God damn, I hope she didn't break the camera. That's a good one. We could also take a selfie with the other strippers in the back. You could also, um... Wait, hold on. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Oh, right, um... What I was trying to do was get to the bartender. But uh, oh, man, you have to get up closer to the seats with the bartender. I think he's only available to buy some more merchandise after you get selfies with the other stripper. I'm not sure. For some reason, I tried to get as close as I can to the bartender, but he wouldn't let me near him. Everybody wants a pick with Crystal. Okay. So let's go on ahead and take a picture with Crystal, and I do believe there was another okay, cool. stripper here I could, I could take a picture with, okay. and that is, uh, oh yeah, you're the one who kicked me into Boutte, oh that's Donica, Make sure to tag me. and then this oh, one here who twerked on me in that last part also. Might as well uh, take a picture of you too, and that's Rhonda. Bye, baby. Yeah, Donica was the reason why I lost the first time to Boutte. So that would explain a lot. I thought there was some other random things or some uh, random costume here, but I guess not. Oh, wait, stripper wig. I need to come back here later on because I think I've probably forgotten about it. All right. Okay, guys, wasn't that something? Be sure to tip your waitresses. Let's see. Come on. Let me get close to the damn bartender. Huh. <sighs> I guess not. And seriously, they have employee dare kit daycare behind a bar. Hold on. That's your idea of strip club attire, big guy. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. 
but you're supposed to go up to the D. You're supposed to go up to the bartender. Uh, take a picture with him. I don't know why. For some reason, it wasn't showing up. But you were supposed to take a. You were supposed to go up to the bartender, buy a CD, then take a selfie with the uh, bartender, then buy the um, gin, and actually give it to the. Um, DJ, and then you get a selfie. But for right now, the thing I'm worried about the most is returning this wallet to Jimbo. And I'm by doing so, we actually you, gotten ourselves well, there, another summon. Which will be our second summon out of this whole entire game. However, their summon is literally up to five. That's all they give you. And Jed, uh, oh, and sorry, Ned and Jimbo, sorry, are actually the most broken summon in the game. How broken are we talking? Uh, Ned and Jimbo can take out a majority of the field, or at least do damage to the majority of the field, and then end it with a grenade. And we already took a uh, picture with both. Uh, Ned and Jimbo, who, by the way, lost both of his arms. I don't know how. No, he only lost one of his arms. But whatever the case, folks, I do believe we're done lollygagging around. Now it's time for us to head over to Kyle's place. But first, one last thing we need to do. We need to take a selfie with Grandpa. Or at least Grandpa March, anyway. Since we gave him the condom. You must have shed your baby skin. Come get a picture with Grandpa, Billy. All right. Now, all we need to do is wait for a little bit longer, and then we'll be able to take a uh, grab picture with Shelly. I don't think you can take a picture with her until you get about 100 followers. Which, by the way, won't happen until, like, day three. Right now, I only have 40 followers, but I think the maximum followers you can have is about 120. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Giddy, now, let's giddy, talk giddy, to Kyle. Giddy. Well, there's nothing in this place here because I've already got it, so let's get things started. Thanks for coming. It's over here. In the backyard. You can come over and play later. I'm big! Will you deal with him, please? Look, Cousin Kyle, it's that mean kid who beat me up before. Yeah, oh no, somebody stop him. Don't worry, Cousin Kyle, I have developed these super sensors which will make it almost impossible for him to beat us up this time. I have to stay out of this. Just please, please make him go away. Prepare to meet your doom, evil bully kid. And he's back. We have to defeat the imposter human kite yet again. This time around, he starts things off with a barrier. So we're going to have to break through these barriers in order for us to actually uh, get close enough to deal with him. And you know, I honestly should have uh, used Glitch in order for us to get through this. Alright. Just break down those barriers. That's all that needs to be done. I'm pretty sure we're almost close to that. Oh, wait. I oh wait, never mind, I can use this. I am out of tickets. Now once we get to the barrier, then we can start beating his ass. Oh and by the way, if you think human kite's going to join you, no, that's not gonna happen. Huh <sighs> I think Kuhn will stay right where he is until needed. I'm supposed to attack now, right? Okay. 
Okay, let's just block that, because that's really annoying. Now then, it's time for us to use a certain special of ours. This should get things a little bit uh, more in our favor, and at least get us closer to imposter human kite. And done. And I actually chilled and shocked him too. I'm surprised it actually caught him. Oh, now the beatdown begins. Holy shit, one hit and it took three fourths of his life. But if you think this battle is over, guess again. Remember what I put on here for part two? About a certain someone using a certain auntie to his advantage? Well, that's about to happen as soon as I win. And it's over. For now, at least. Okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew faith to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmeo Shigine. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly into... Oh, Jesus, it came off. Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle. Then give up. Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> and Sheila, these kids are picking on me. What, what, what? Well, damn. Who's picking on you? Who are you kids? I'll call your mothers right now. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And that theme is there for a reason. Kyle's mom is a bitch. Well, at the current level, we should be able to survive ourselves. Oh, and by the way, Imposter Human Kite puts on a protective shield. Any harm, by the way, comes to Kyle's mom. Well, Kyle will actually step in. This is why the Human Kite is not involved in this battle. And there it is. This battle is actually going to catch you off guard. For one reason and one reason only. Well, Sheila. Sheila's the reason. And also Human Kite. But if you take out both Human Kites, uh, I mean Super Kite. Sheila won't be that much of a problem, per se. But once she activates her Jersey Rage, you could just forget about it. Uh. Oh, crap. And she's activated her Jersey Rage. Here's the thing. The whole Jersey Rage I'm talking about is the fact that she now takes four turns. Which is much more than Randy. All the more reason why... Uh, Red, white, drunk Randy is probably an underwhelming uh, boss. And speaking of which, I should heal her. I should heal my character, but unfortunately I can't. And for good reason, because Sheila is taking multiple turns. And of course, Human Kite will also join in on the fray. Yeah. That, that's nice, that's nice. Not even give me a chance to actually fight back. Nice one. That's okay, that's okay. I'll just bring back my fallen comrade. And we will come back and start kicking your ass. I can't wait to actually make uh, better revive potions. Don't die on this new kid. I think I should heal myself. I really should. Why did I use Elemental Onslaught? Because freezing will only last one turn. I don't know why I did it, but I did. At least for the most part, she'll be frozen for right now. Wow, that was the coolest storm. Oh, right. She's almost dead. That's a good thing. 
And she's shocked. My turn. All right, let's just go on ahead and get rid of uh, imposter human kite. That should make things a lot easier on me. Great. Okay. That's also great too. Just skip her turn. She doesn't need one, damn it. And now, neither does Kyle. Um, does it really matter what I do? Okay, yeah, it does, because I can't really reach my character. You and your friends play too rough. All right, Kyle has been defeated, and uh oh, oh crap. This is where it's gonna get tough, folks. Sheila's got five turns. You know how to take a hit, diabetes. And she's gonna use all of them to beat the shit out of Captain Diabetes. But nonetheless, if it wasn't for the fact of Sheila activating her Jersey Rage, we probably wouldn't be in this mess. Alright, she's slow. That's good. But she's almost down. All you need to do is use a revive potion and finish this. Alright, let's just get up the new kid. You guys drag me into this, and I'm always to And She could finish this fight right here. Yeah, I have to pause it by the way. DVR actually cut out in the middle of the fight. Punch someone for the coon, Fartlord. Alright, this is it. We're finishing this fight right now. And that's the end of the Brovlowski's. And by the way, you notice the whole theme of Kyle's mom is a bitch being played in the background. Freaking awesome. At least we got our revenge for Canada and also insecurity security. And everything else she's done. Are you okay? Nice going, guys. Kyle, get inside and call the police. We have to get these kids arrested. No, no, mom. No police. This is all my fault. What? Look, it's just... I, I couldn't take my cousin copying everything I do. The human kite is about saving people, not about Judaism. And now look at all the damage you've caused. I should press charges against your friends. And look my kite up in a tree. <sighs> I'm sorry. Please, I'll do anything. You are going to let your cousin play with you from now on. Is that clear? Oh boy, Kyle and Sheila says I get to play with you. Yes, sometimes you can play with us. Yippee! Now get your cousin's kite out of that tree. You're not playing anymore until you do. Come on, Shugana. Let's get you some back team. Oh, I hate back team because it gets on my fingers and I get eczema from the lidocaine. Kyle's mom is a bitch. But because of what we did, we can now use investigation mode in order for us to unlock a brand new ability called Fart Core. Which will allow us to get up high into the tree and get imposter human kites kite down. So let's take it and let's get the hell out of here. Well, we can't really get the hell out of here yet. We gotta get that kite back to imposter human kite. I'm going to call that Farkor. When you need to reach high, out of the way spots, give me a call and we'll Farkor up there. Man, I hope I never need to do that in public though. Kind of embarrassing. And now we can give Kyle's cousin back his kite so that we will be able to leave this place because guess what? Here, let me show you something. Now this may sting a little if you oh, don't give back, oh, uh, you, you don't give back, oh, let me throw this at him, bastard. If you don't give back a uh, human kites, or should I say imposter human kites kite, you're not going to be able to get out of the back, out of the front door because... Sheila locked the front door! So, yeah, let's get back the kite. And now that we got it back, we can also take a selfie with Kyle Schwartz. Much to my utter dismay. Now, Sheila, on the other hand, she won't be available until the thrift store is open. Alright, so... I think this would be a good good face for this because fuck that guy oh wonderful see you later Coonstagram. all right I do believe that should take care of all business here for now 
<sighs> so with that said, I will be getting out of this house before I get really, really mad at Kyle's mom. So, what's left on the agenda? I do believe now that we have Farkar, we can put it to good use. And we'll be doing that in part 12. And also, if I'm not mistaken, there was one more thing we needed to do, and that is also solve an argument between uh, Tweak and Craig. I do believe we'll probably be doing that. Or at least starting on that. Because that's kind of a two-part thing, and we need a new ability for that to be solved. So, with that said, ladies and gentlemen... I'll be stopping right over here in this section, and also we'll be using Farcore to get some stuff, do some cleanup. And I think Farcore will be definitely needed later on, especially for an important item, if for us to get a brand new ability, obviously. So I think we could use Farcore to go Ready? over to the next building. Uh, yeah. yes. And on top of the D-Mobile place. Ooh, there's an Avenger suit. Cool, I guess. And one more Let's Farcore for the road. Right, you need it. And after that, yeah, now we're going to call it a part. We'll be doing more Farcore again in part 12 and also try to reconcile Tweak and Craig if they aren't willing to reconcile of course.